Hello everyone. If we have returns from customers and they would like to have a refund or a credit from us, then we should record them correctly to QuickBooks so that the amount will be credited or debited back to its corresponding accounts. In a return transaction, a customer's accounts receivable account will be credited, sales, VAT or sales tax, and inventory accounts are debited, then cost of goods sold is credited. If there are inventory involved, the quantity will also be added back to our inventory. For today's video, I will show you how to record refunds and credits properly in QuickBooks. So let's go to our customer center. And then let's work on this customer. I will double click the invoice. This invoice is already paid. And then this is the item. And this invoice is also VATable. There's a 9000 VAT in this invoice. So I will click Save and Close. And then let's go back to the home page. And this is our refunds and credits icon. I will click this. The customer name is 0704. The date is July 22nd, credit number. And this is the returned item. The customer returned 100 pieces. It was for $150 each. So the total amount of the refund is 15,000 and it is vatable. I will click save and close. Save anyway for the class. There are three available options. The first one is to retain as an available credit. The second one is to give a refund. The third one is to apply to an invoice. So we're going to do the first one, retain as an available credit if the customer would like us to keep the money for the meantime. And we cannot apply this to an invoice since the customer doesn't have any outstanding invoice anymore. Okay, so I will choose this and then I will click OK. Right, so as you can see, there is a negative amount of 16800 in the customer's account. So it's an available credit in his account. And once the customer will order again, it will show up in his invoice as an available credit. And let's go back to the credit memo. Let's check the entries. I will double click this. So, and I will press Control Y for the journal entry. Let's check. So there's a credit of 16,800 to the accounts receivable, and it goes back to our sales income, 15,000. So it, it will be deducted from our sales income. And it goes back to our inventory asset account, 536. And then cost of goods sold as well. The 1,800 is debited back to the VAT output account. Then let's check our inventory. Let's go back to the home page and then go to items and services icon so we can check the inventory. So this one, I will right click and then choose quick report. So here's the 100 pieces of this item that has been returned back using the credit memo. And as you can see, the transaction type is credit memo. So basically, it goes back to our inventory account. Let's go back to our customer center and then let's do the second customer. So 1035 acre farm. And we're going to do this invoice. Okay, so this is the item code or the inventory. And let's assume that the customer returns everything and he wants a full refund. So the quantity to be returned is 50 pieces. And the price each is 102 pesos. Okay, so let's go back to the home page and then I will click the refunds and credits icon again. Put in the customer name. The date is October 23rd. And this is the item. Quantity is 50 pieces. And the rate is 102 dollars each and it is vatable so 612 dollars will go back to the vat payable account i will click save and close and then we will just keep the number for the credit memo save anyway okay so we're going to choose the second option which is give a refund click ok so quickbooks will issue a check and then the refund amount is 5712 and the money comes out from our RCBC account, so the date of the check. And then you can also put a memo, so let's type full refund. I will click OK. Click Save Anyway. So let's go back to the Customer Center and let's check the credit memo. Double-click this. 
I will press Control Y. It goes back to the accounts receivable account and then to the sales income, to the inventory asset account, cost of goods sold, and as well as the VAT output account. But we issued a check. We issued a check for $5,712. This amount will be deducted from the accounts receivable credited from our RCBC account. I will click Save and Close. Okay, so that's for the second option. And then for our last customer, 2000 Vision, I will double click this invoice 490,700 pieces. This is the inventory. The rate is $700 each. I'll go back to the home page and then I will click refunds and credits. Type in the customer name, same date, and then I will type in the inventory item this one and we will return 200 pieces price each is 700 dollars so the total amount to be refunded is 140,000. i will click save and close save anyway for the class and then let's do the third option apply to an invoice so we can do this because the customer has another outstanding invoice with us i will click ok I will apply this to the same invoice related to the return. I will click done. Right, and let's go back to the customer center and let's double click the invoice. So as you can see, the original amount was 490,000, but there's a payment supplied, but it's actually the credit. So the remaining amount for this invoice is 350,000. I will click save and close. All right there. So that's how we do refunds and credits in QuickBooks. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.